Hi, I'm Ann Bravik, Graduate Program Director of Food Science here at Mount Mary University. We're back to do another food science experiment, and this one is on density. I have here with me Cynthia and Trisha, and they're gonna help us today in running this experiment. So guys, are you ready? Yes. yes. Awesome. So what we're gonna do today is talk about density. Density is mass divided by volume. We generally measure it grams per milliliters, but it's hard to sometimes understand the volume of things. So to understand the difference in you know, a volume of <clears throat> a piece of rice versus a chocolate chip, for example, that's hard to imagine, right? So instead we can do some estimating of density just by some real simple experiments. So let's imagine now we have a pound, a rock that is one pound, and I have a bag of feathers that is also one pound. So the same weight, right? But the volume is gonna be different. And their density is gonna be different. If I throw both of those into the lake, which one would you expect to sink? The rock. The rock, right? Because we know that that's more dense. So it's a matter of weight and volume that plays a role in it. Okay, so we're ready to start. Here are the things that you need for this experiment. We have ice, just regular ice from the freezer is fine. Small marshmallows. We have chocolate chips. I have here a corn syrup and I'm using light corn syrup just because it's easier to see and you can tell that the color is different than the vegetable oil that we're gonna use. So we'll be able to see the layers better. I also have here cooking sherry. This is a little bit harder to find, may not be something that's in your pantry, but you can also just find it at the grocery store um, very easily, or you can also use uh, wine or other kind of alcohol, but you want an alcohol uh, for this fourth uh, liquid, um, the fourth one being water. So they're just going to start out by filling a uh, volumetric flask with 100 milliliters of water. Now, if you don't have a volumetric flask, you can just use a cup of water, okay? So why don't you guys go ahead and do that, get 100 milliliters of water. Now what I'm going to have you do is just put a couple of drops of food coloring in there so that we can see it better. So this is just a blue food coloring. Perfect. Swirl it up a little bit. Also gonna have you measure out 100 milliliters of corn syrup. This is very thick, so it's kind of hard to measure exactly, but close enough. That is thick. All right, so let's also measure out 100 milliliters of vegetable oil. And we'll also add 100 milliliters of cooking sherry. Okay, so now that you have both had a chance to sort of feel and see what these liquids look like, do you have any thoughts about what might be the heaviest one or the most dense that might sink? I would say the corn, the corn syrup. syrup. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, that was gloopy yeah. going in, right? Yeah. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about the hypothesis of which one you think might be the next dense one, which one would you like to pick next? The water. The water. Okay. Okay, wow. I'm already seeing a little bit of a separation there. That's pretty cool. That is. All right, so let's pick another one. What would you like to try next? Say the cooking sherry. Okay, let's try cooking sherry. Great. Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute and see what happens. So we've got a nice separation here at the bottom with the corn syrup. I can see the water pretty well. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of a darker layer at the top here that is the cooking sherry. And that'll just keep on separating as we give it a minute. So let's do the last one, put the oil in. Wow. 
Wow, that's Looks pretty like you guys cool. picked the right order, which is pretty cool. So we definitely have the oil at the top, and we sort of expected that because you already knew that oil floats to the top whenever we make salad dressing. But what we didn't realize was that the middle layer there would be the sherry. So it turns out those at the bottom, of course, are the most dense, and they decrease in density as you move up the different layers. So if we let this sit for a couple more minutes, it will make some nice, very clear layers for us. Okay, so we've given it about five minutes just to allow everything to separate out into their layers very clearly. Now we're gonna start adding some solids. We have here the chocolate chips, the marshmallows, and some ice cubes. So, ladies, what do you think? Which one do, looks the most dense to you? I would say the chocolate, chocolate chips. chips. I agree. Should we try that? Let's go ahead and put the chocolate chips in and see where they end up. So you can put about uh, maybe 10 chocolate chips in there. All right, so let's wait and see where they go. All right, tell me what you think. Where did they end up? More in the water layer, More in the, I would say. Yeah, but above the lowest layer, which was the corn syrup, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So they're definitely more dense than water, but less dense than corn syrup. syrup. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. So we now have an extra layer in there with the chocolate chips. Now let's take a look at the ice versus the marshmallows. Let's just guess. No one's gonna know the answer till we do it. But what do you think? Which is more dense? We would say the marshmallows. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's try it. Go ahead and put, again, about 10 marshmallows in there. All right, so that looks cool. What do you see? The marshmallows are floating at the top. Yeah, so they're less dense or more dense? Less dense. Less, less dense. Less dense. So probably the least dense, right? Because they're yeah. at the very top. Yeah. All right, last one then is your ice. So go ahead and see where those end up. So, a little bit harder to see because these are bigger ice cubes, but they are definitely not on top, are they? Where did they end up? Underneath the marshmallows. Underneath the marshmallows. So are they more dense or less dense than oil? They kind of the same. Yeah, a little bit, this, it might be the same, but in fact, because they are just below the surface of the oil, they're actually resting on top of the sherry. So they are more dense than marshmallows, more dense than the vegetable oil, but less dense than sherry and water. Now the sherry and water layer are a little bit more mixed. You can see that there is a little bit of a darker color up here than down here. So there is some separation, but cooking sherry does have some water in it. So there is going to be a mixture between them and that's partially why the blue has also dissolved into the sherry. But most of the alcohol is still in this upper area. So you've just created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers, yeah. So that is a beautiful demonstration of density.